Just in time. Hail year. Very interested to see what they got going for us. Hi everyone, I'm Asad Kizilbash, head of product at PlayStation Studios and head of PlayStation Productions. I'm here to welcome one of the newest members of the PlayStation Studios family. I think that should be fine. This team brings together some of the most talented developers in our industry with an incredible pedigree in the online multiplayer space. We announced their first game, Concord, last year. And today, they're revealing gameplay captured in-engine on PS5. But first, here's an extended vignette introducing some of the cool characters you'll find in the Concord Galaxy. Enjoy. Interesting. Spontaneous creative decision made after years of careful research. Being really old and almost dying a bunch doesn't count as research. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Besides, it worked. I mean, how much longer for the other? Not entirely. Two more minutes. Hey, start up. Try it with hot sauce. You'll like it. Trust me. No, no, no. Do not trust him. Oh, where's this coming from? It's coming from you back on the ship saying, "Trust me, we're professionals. We'll stick to the plan. We can do this." And then that. <laughs> that was not the plan. Technically, it was a plan. It just wasn't the same plan that we started with. If we don't leave with this blue <laughs> body... We will. We will. I'll be waiting outside. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're waiting. We'll be taking this off your hands. What? This? Funny. Remember anything about this? So them down a little for you. Meet at the rendezvous point. Wait, what? Where's the rendezvous? I didn't catch that. Copy that, Bill. Deal now. Well, that's cool. Fine. They only got one of my legs. But how are those hands? It seems very. Valorant You're still mad at me? I mean, duh, you fucked up, sir. Lennox! Got him. <laughs> <laughs> One of us, like, what the fuck? That's cool. I am developing a taste for destruction. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, goodbye indeed. This would be a very dishonorable way for us all to die. Don't worry, nobody's <laughs> dying dishonorably. And also, we're bringing this back with us. Hey, yeah, how, how do you plan on doing that? What are you doing? Getting us to the rendezvous point. <laughs> Perhaps we should have let go also. One off. Do not dare. Well, we were supposed to stick together. If you and let go, I swear me. I will be. Oh, look, there they are. Hi. What the? Get off. Get off. <laughs> I am glad you avoided a dishonorable death. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Or something. I knew this was going to work. This wasn't the plan. No, it just wasn't the one we started with. I mean, right. that's kind of just the like... Satisfied customer. Also, the big guy kind of reminds me of uh, Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy a little bit. Like 
carry it around with you for emergency bland situations or whatever? Hey, Mara. Hmm? Don't joke about something like this. <sighs> Our next job is somewhere with less scaffolding. We'll no scaffolding. Zero scaffolding. I, I promise. We were apart for so long. I, I thought I'd never feel your fiery embrace again. You sound <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Man really loves freaking uh, hot sauce, apparently. Nice. Concord is a 5v5 first person shooter set in the vibrant sci fi universe of the Concord Galaxy. In Concord, from the moment you log on, you are part of the crew of the North Star a group of guns for hire known in our galaxy as Free Gunners. Free Gunners are those huh. lucky enough to be free to roam the stars. They take high-stake jobs on worlds across wild space where they face other fiercely competitive Free Gunner crews. Here's the very first look at the gameplay of Concord. Again, free very gunner. guards the galaxy light. It's hard work, but it's our work, and we don't take it for granted. Being a Free Gunner means, hmm. well, you're free. Right on target. Yeah, you better run. Free gunners have a shot at making something of themselves. A chance to be someone. All right. Hmm. So then maybe a little a bit of uh, Overwatch-ish? Need a second to fix myself up. Definitely seems like it. Why not? And in the wilds, it's anyone's hmm. game. You won't survive on your own. Target blinded! Finally, to battle! I'll be interested to see if this does well. Endless rage! It looks interesting at least. Kind of fun. We risk our lives every day to do the job. I'll clear the way. Time to show them the big guns. That's me. Okay. This crew will go anywhere. Zaru, I wonder what he threw down. Kind of looked like something uh, Horizon Rapex would use to boost yourself up. Face any enemy. But yeah, that would be freaking Overwatch fights. We're the Free Gunner crew of the North Star. And together, mm. we're going to make our mark on this galaxy. When's that one coming out? The crew is gathering. Would you like to join us for game night? With Concord, we leaned on the strengths and background of our team to make a tight, well-balanced FPS that feels great to play. We focused a ton of our attention and our tech on building a strong gameplay foundation of tight core movement, precise mm. visceral shooting, and expressive abilities. We ended up finding ourselves influenced a lot by fighting games and even strategy games in the interesting way that the asymmetry of their characters makes every fight, every matchup feel really different. Leaning into the asymmetry of the characters, really pushing the possibility space of two different characters colliding, it's all about creating opportunities for improvisation. That's where we can get out of the way and let players find their own magic. We also have abilities that are meant to have impact beyond direct combat. Deployable gear that can persist throughout a full game, so whether that's multiple rounds of a mode or multiple respawns across a match. There are healing huh. pads, bullet blocking domes, explosive traps, lane blocking walls, all kinds of ways to support your team or disrupt your enemies. Coordinated teams can set up and plan ahead, and depending on where and when it happens, players can shift the battlefield to their advantage. We've got everything from mystics and medics to gunslingers and sparked robots. Every okay, character so brings their own unique really personality, skills, and wide-ranging perspectives to the crew. Every week, when you log into Concord, you will be welcomed with a new cinematic vignette that will give you a chance to see our characters off the job. They will feature ongoing narrative arcs that grow the characters' stories and relationships and unpack the broader Concord galaxy. Why are you kissing a tchotchke? We're excited to share that we'll be hosting a pre-launch beta hmm. in July, followed by Concord's global launch on August 23rd, 2024.
But yeah, that guy kind of seems like he's modeled after... Uh, oh God, what was his name again? Yanu? From Guardians of the Galaxy? The blue guy with the freaking fin on his head. I swear it's Yanu, isn't it? We also like his little doodads. God of War going to freaking uh, PC. So first, Ghost of Tsushima and now like God of War. Calm and reasonable person. Yeah, are people are definitely gonna mock the shit out of this one, that's for sure. Person. You don't really want war. Do you, Kratos? Honestly, it'd be kind of funny if they, uh... The say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. Then it's those freaking uh, Thomas the freaking tank engine coming through the door. Is that about him? You will die. Kratos of Sparta. Death can have me. Although there would be quite a few characters that you could do, that would be hilarious. Burns me. Ah, this was such a great Gordon's game as well. This just lead. makes me want to we play it again. To consider. We have guests! They're too fast! And honestly, it was so goddamn fun to do the fucking Battle Island DLC. Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. I would make it what two PlayStation games that have come to PC now this year then once that comes out What's this for the new Assassin's soldiers Creed? and officials alike oppress the people for personal gain and the people must turn to thievery for food Perhaps this is heaven's way of lamenting the state of the also, land. This seems very dynasty Men are powerless at the feet of the divine. But even so, someone must act. Could be wrong. But yeah, how the fucking dynasty warriors though? Okay, Ed's gotta be. Is this a new one, or...? Huh. Also, I didn't even know they were still freaking making them. I thought that freaking series died out. Hey! Freaking is... Oh. Dynasty War Origins? Interesting. Huh. Momo. I think I was dreaming. It wasn't a dream. <gasps> we were really transported to Miraland. The path of a stylist is never easy. So, are you ready for it? Ready. We're ready. Aha, uh -huh, getting freaking Genshin Impact vibes. Maybe not. Well, kinda, actually, with that movement. I think uh, Honkai Star Rail is kind of the same ish. Wonder if it's the uh, same studio. Although, now I'm just trying to figure out what kind of game it's trying to be here. Because there's combat, there's certain pictures being taken. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks pretty, but, um... Infinity Nikki? Is it you who pursues infinity? Or is infinity awaiting you? Huh. Stars. Ooh. Shields. Wow. I have seen. 
seen them was that move you so clay until the towering shadows vanished into the mist okay this has got my attention I pray for their grace but all that came were inferior really? shades why do we have to bear the consequences of such power time war wow Mortality. These essences shall not fall into your treacherous hands. So why is the guy carrying a child? Way with emissaries. Grand dust of forgotten miracles. Rain fire from above. Damn. <laughs> this desolate land. Yeah, the conversion is just started. I'm like, I am getting fucking souls like vibes here. From this, yeah, that is a definite. Remember, no matter what happens, we did not betray this world. Battle of Antara? Ooh, 2025? Okay, I think that is definitely what I'll have to be fucking eye on. Like. I thought I could be a hero and break the curse. But I was a fool. There's no hope here. And the gods oh. that walk among us thirst for death. Outsider! Your head is mine! Ah, uh, doesn't look like it, boys. Poison in my veins begs me to kill. I mean, that's a wow. put you with a crush his head off. So did you just... Cool. I think you broke part of the guy's shield off as well. Huh. So I could be a hero. But heroes don't survive the Forsaken Lands. Damn. Only monsters do. So why did it look like a really weird walrus? Um, that was a big fella. But yeah, that looks like a freaking walrus though. Freaking alien. Why does it seem like a VR version of Alien Isolation? Or Alien Rogue Incursion? That's kind of cool. I mean, I don't have freaking VR. It'd be nice. Hi everyone, I'm Sean Benson. I'm back on State of Play to introduce more exciting titles coming to PlayStation, starting with a highly anticipated PvP shooter playable soon on PS5. Oh, another PvP? Marvel? Destiny awaits. Okay. Huh. 
Huh. Stronger together. I guess everybody's just trying to get into fucking PvP now. Okay, this looks even more like fucking Overwatch than the last one. Who needs a power up? Free fire zone. Embrace the chaos. Huh. That's cool. Healing destructive uh, environment. I'm back, baby. Three, two. Whether they'll actually uh, stay in the game or not. Gonna get sticky. But you can concept though. Huh. Wonder if the entire map's like that where you can just uh destroy it then. Okay. Let's see how mankind has conquered space. The heck was that supposed to be like a skin? Because as far as I'm aware, now I'm not super well versed in the combat side of things, but as far as I'm aware, Galactus is just a big giant plant eating dude. Ooh. I'm sure you lacking the vibes of this one so far. Um, that is a big fish there, sir. Another souls like hell yeah. Kind of a sucker for the souls like games. Huh. This kind of reminds me of a game that got announced like a really long time ago. I think this is the one then. There's kind of some similarities to it. Where wind meets. Well, oh, where winds meet. Okay, it wasn't called that. There, there was another one that was uh, similar to that one. Hello, friends and fans. I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood winter getaway. Oh, until dawn. <laughs> oh, nice one. Remake? You can't hide from me, Michael. Oh, you're going down. Oh! Save tonight. Huh. It means so much to me that we're all still here together. Fight the break of I'm kind of curious as to why they decided to uh, remake this one anyway. I'll say. Or maybe just Let's enough people are uh, campaigning one trip for it. We will never forget. Mike, Emily. Hey, those two. The only couple I actually liked in this freaking game. Down there. Who are? I don't remember the names are. I think the guy's name is. I don't want to make hasty decisions that get everyone killed. Not okay! <laughs> we should stay put right here until dawn. <laughs> Jessica! <laughs> you can't let me die! Yeah, I honestly don't remember what her name is. I think it's like. It's not Ashley. I think one of the girls' names is Ashley. I think there was somebody named Ashley. I think there was a Jessica as well. Nice, just in time of freaking Halloween. Perfect time to launch it, honestly. Path of Exile 2. Well, I know a couple people that are definitely gonna be freaking excited about that. Although, isn't it like out in like early access right now on PC? Ogham was once a peaceful land. But each day descends further into madness. Because I remember trying to get into the first Famine, one. Famine, really plague, succeed. besiege us. The very earth is being poisoned. Because it kind of required like the a Count's lot of freaking commitment to it. Once our protectors have turned on us, and now they come for me. Oh, yes, get out of here! 
but yeah, from what I did play of uh, the first one, I enjoyed it. Essentially, it is a Diablo game. Oh, as far as like, the gameplay goes, I don't know if there's an actual story. I was not really paying I attention when I played it. <laughs> this nightmare. No noose this time. I'll remove your head myself! But I need not do it alone. Interesting. But yeah, isn't also like, uh, what is it? V Rising, isn't that also kind of similar uh, gameplay to it? Another one I'll be playing at some point. Access late 2024. Why do I have a feeling that's gonna be not till freaking 2025 when that comes out? Because usually, whenever somebody's like, oh yeah, it's gonna be out winter 2024, that usually means not till next year Excuse now. Me. I'm sorry, I, I was just. It's okay, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Oh, I'm this is Silent um, Hill. Can you know, Silent Hill stay away. Too? This town, there's something wrong with it? Is it dangerous? Maybe. Hmm. I'll this is the one that's got uh, pyramid head in it. Doesn't I guess it? I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. Please tell me this comes out in October. No. You shouldn't be here. Okay, yeah, that's the one who put the pyramid in it. They're in here. But I'm getting freaking Resident Evil 2 vibes from this. Wow. Okay. That's creepy. Just fucking skidding over the goddamn place. I'll be good, I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please. <laughs> the hell? No, please. Ah, nice. I was supposed to say, if they don't do a freaking October, they're not doing it right, man. October 8th, nice. Capcom announced this next game last December, mm. offering just a glimpse of what's in store for their celebrated franchise. Today, I am mm -hmm. so excited to share the first full gameplay trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds. Hello? Wow, okay. sand surfer. Hey as soon as we find a good spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. And then we can get started. This is gonna be great. You bet. Wait, did the palco just talk? version of a chocobo. Well, this just makes me really want to go play freaking uh, world now. The other one never really finished. Now to lead it away from the pack. We'll make for the desert. All right. Mm. Ooh, that was a good one. The sandstorm! Freaking sandstorm. That is just freaking nutty. Ooh, 
Typically, you'd be used for good defense armor there, sir. That a really big ass freaking tongue. Kind of reckons me of the, uh, what was it, the Great Jaggers? Similar vibes. Yeah, a weapon I had never ever freaking used in, uh, in the games. more of a uh, melee combat boy. Nice. I've selected you as a lead hunter for this expedition. Thank you, sir. Huh. It's the big uh, rocks remind me of uh, Final Fantasy. They got that big rock. I was kind of hoping to see a little bit of the uh, armor. 2025. Watch this, it's not gonna be out till summertime. Oh, nice. That's kind of cool. A little bit of a callback. Zombie? Oh, Astrobot. That's cute. Huh. Kind of surprised they're doing another one. Because that's one of the games that came with the uh, PS5. Seems like a nice, chill, fun game. Wonder if it's gonna have more uh, references like the uh, one that's already on here then. Big boy! Also, kinda gives me. Uh... Okay, yeah, definitely has the references then. Drop of the proper? Also, kind of getting um, Zack Boy vibes. Kind of similar. Okay, sir, how is that fair? The freaking arms. Huh. Shadow of the Colossus. Aw, the volcano set. <laughs> okay, seeing all different uh, PlayStation as consoles and accessories? Huh. <laughs> September 6th. Nice. Mm -hmm. Be sure to visit PlayStation Blog for more on the games you just saw, as well as PlayStation.com for the latest on Days of Play. This global celebration runs through June 12th, with deals on PlayStation Store, great oh, new content coming to PlayStation end? Plus, and much end. more. But that was interesting. Huh. Wasn't like a whole lot to it, but there's at least some.